All right, Nethmi, we're going to watch your breaststroke videos here. Uh, one of the things while we're watching them, the thing that we'd like you to do as well, if you don't have time to watch the videos sometimes, make sure you check out the notes that are in the email as well. Those are from Lynette. Um, different things that we saw that we really like, different things that we saw that we think you can continue to work on. Um, so it's always good to take a chance to just reference those notes as well if you don't have all the time to watch the videos. Do take that opportunity. Um, but we see some things that we really, really like. We see some things that we think we can work on. So we'll just kind of take it step by step. All right, so let's go ahead and start this over. And we're going to go from here. All right, so the very first thing here is we look at our breaststroke pull. We can see that our hands are pointed out to the side. Your thumbs are down, your pinkies are up. That's exactly how you want to start that pull. Okay, so that's excellent. You always want to make sure you're catching that water as you press out to the side. Perfectly done. Now we are a little bit low in the water there in the beginning, which is you can see nice high elbows as you start that pull. Your hands are pointing in the right direction. You can see that you're pushing the water back there, but look how low your head's in the water still. All right, so we've got to make sure we breathe a little bit earlier all the way through in the breaststroke. The earlier we breathe, the better timing your breaststroke is. And really, to be honest with you, breaststroke is, is a stroke where it is about the timing. If your timing is off, um, then everything else kind of gets behind. So you've got to make sure you get your timing early with your breaststroke pull. Good job of dropping the head down. Hands are a little bit low. We'd like to see those hands a little bit higher in the water as they push forward. Uh, that's what we call a shoot, right? Get your hands moving closer to that surface as you push forward with that breaststroke. But your head position here looks great. You can see really how low you are in that water. So we just kind of drop too low. If you get your hands up higher, then your breaststroke um, recovery as you push forward is going to be even better. Great job of finishing that kick before you start that next pull. The other thing we really do like is we like that body line. You've got such a straight body line underwater, which really is good. Um, again, the biggest thing is the depth of the water. Way too low in the water. And that's partially why you have a late breath. If you're a little bit higher in the water, you're probably going to be breathing earlier. Again, a great pull underwater. That looks so good, Nephmi. Um, instead of having those hands in a prayer position going forward, try to take those hands. As your hands come through, you're going to be turning them over so that your palms are down and your hands are kind of overlapping. So work on it as you push forward, turning those palms down. Don't keep them in a prayer position all the way through. The other thing we want to see you do is get those feet up a little bit higher so they're a little bit closer to your hips. You actually want your feet almost touching um, your hips as you start doing that kick. So your kick's gotta be a little bit higher than what we see here. As we start that kick, you can see those knees are spread way too wide. Keep those knees together, all right? Eyes are down, which is perfect. Good job of finishing. Nothing, you do a great job. You can see your feet right here. Great job getting those heels together. Here, your palms are down as you're getting ready to start that pull, which is excellent. And again, the body line is so good. Your eyes are down. You're nice and straight. It's just a little low in the water. And, you're, and if you get a little bit higher, then that's going to be like perfect. All right. So let's go back just a frame or two. Here, your feet are nice and high. That's good. You got your feet together, though, and your knees are way apart. All right, so this is kind of a good view to see where your feet are together. That's where you want to make sure you keep those feet on the outside of your hips and the outside of your knees. So it's more of a whip kick. All right. As we get ready to get in here to the turn. Now, that should be your last stroke right there. Eyes should be down. You can see that you're looking towards that wall. You want to make sure those eyes are still down as best you can. But what we do is we take another pull. So you take the other pull here, your hands touch, your feet really never even did a kick. So you didn't, you did a pull without a kick. That wouldn't, that shouldn't have happened. You should have just kept those hands moving forward. Okay. All right. So as you do your turn here, there's a couple things wrong. Number one, you're on your back. 
When you push off on your back, that's actually illegal on breaststroke. So one of the things we want you to try to do is when your feet hit the wall, here's where your feet should be. Here's where your knees should be pointing in this direction here on the angle. Okay. So then as you push off the wall, you're going to start turning towards your stomach a little bit earlier. Okay. You're pushing off directly on your back, which is definitely not legal. So we've got to work on that. Okay. The other thing is you can see that your head is almost tilted too far back. You should keep that head in a nice tight streamline. See your hands aren't together. Your arms aren't together. And let me see if I can draw this. Your whole body line there is arched. Okay. So we want to keep that body a lot more straight. So as your feet are here, you want to push off in this direction here in a straight line. So lock those elbows into a streamline. And then we'll do a much better job of coming off that wall with a straight body position. All right. So the underwater pull was fine, but there was no dolphin kick. So you've got to remember as you are doing your underwater pullout, right? You're going to hold your streamline for about three seconds. Right here, if we want to see a strong dolphin kick. You can see that you're still a little bit on your side and you just start that pull. That's actually illegal. So you've got to be careful. It's one of those things that, to be honest with you, they don't really call a whole lot because it's, unless they're having an official specifically watching just that one person, they're not going to really see it. But you do have to make sure you work on it. So you got to do a dolphin kick. So you wait for three seconds, then a dolphin kick. Wait for two seconds, then your pull. Now your pull is so good as far as just getting nice, strong strength. Don't let it go quite so wide here. Really. You can see it's really wide. You want to make sure that you kind of press out just a little bit and then scoop those hands in towards those shoulders. And from your shoulders down to your hips, really drive those water fast. So don't go quite so wide. Good job putting your hands on your head or on, on the front of your thighs. But when you look at your head, your head's looking forward. Remember, you want to keep your eyes looking down. If your eyes are looking down, this body line position would be perfect. All right, so get those eyes down. On your underwater kick, you can see that your hands are here going forward, which is going to cause you even a little bit more drag, right? So you want to take those hands and slide them up from your belly button all the way up to the front of your head. So we call them sneaky hands. Keep them close to your body. As our hands go forward, right away you get into your strokes. So we do got to work on that a little bit. Um, not bad, but I think those are, so those are things we can see. And that'll look much better, okay? Good job, Nathmi. You're awesome.